This I Transfuse podcast is based on fact sheets you can find at transfusion.com.au, the Australian Red Cross Blood Service website for health professionals. How does the blood service collect plasma? The Australian Red Cross Blood Service collects plasma in two different ways. From whole blood donations, where the plasma component is separated after the donation, and from apheresis donations, where the plasma is separated during the donation. How is it collected from a whole blood donation? After whole blood is donated, it can be separated into its three different components, red cells, plasma, and sometimes also platelets. This separation makes the best use of a very precious donation. What is an apheresis donation? An apheresis machine collects only the plasma portion of the blood and returns the red cells back to the donor. Apheresis plasma donors are able to donate more frequently than whole blood donors. Even though it can be collected differently, are both types of plasma donations used the same way? Yes, both types of donated plasma are used the same way. What happens to plasma once it has been collected? Most of the plasma collected by the blood service is sent to CSL to be fractionated into 14 different products. The blood service also processes plasma components for use in the clinical setting. So what are the three components made by the blood service? The three clinical plasma components produced are fresh frozen plasma, also known as FFP, cryoprecipitate and cryodepleted plasma. These products are frozen and can be kept for 12 months. How much plasma is supplied to hospitals? In 2009, the blood service supplied over 150,000 adult doses of FFP, 59,000 doses of cryoprecipitate and 15,000 doses of cryodepleted plasma to the hospitals. So how are these three frozen products thawed? They're all brought to room temperature in specially designed water baths that can be found in hospital blood banks. How long does it take to thaw? The process can take close to half an hour. Larger hospitals that regularly deal with trauma thaw FFP in advance. In case of urgent need, a hospital laboratory can thaw FFP in several water baths at the same time. Why are three plasma components necessary? All three plasma components produced by the blood service contain different amounts of different plasma proteins. Some disease treatments require replacement of all plasma proteins, while other diseases only need specific protein replacement. As a result, clinicians will order the component that best matches the patient's need. Could you give us some examples of what the different plasma products are used for? Sure, let's start with fresh frozen plasma. This product is most likely to be used for urgent warfarin reversal in major trauma such as a car accident or in the treatment of liver disease. Cryoprecipitate, the second type of plasma product, is largely used in patients with fibrinogen deficiency and those with major bleeding. Finally, Cryodepleted plasma is a product of choice in the treatment of a condition known as thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, or TTP for short. What is TTP? TTP is a condition where a patient produces clots in the brain, kidneys, or in other parts of their body. It is usually treated by massive plasma transfusions where the patient's own plasma is removed and replaced with cryodepleted plasma. The fact sheets and podcasts are designed to provide basic information to people without training in health or science. They are not intended to be medical or professional advice. The disclaimer on transfusion.com.au applies to this podcast. For more information or to view the fact sheets, log on to transfusion.com.au. To become a blood donor, log on to donateblood.com.au.